Hey everybody, it's George the Antique Nomad. Did you know that there are more thrift stores than just Goodwill that are in every town across the country of any size? There certainly are, and we're gonna check one of them out today. So come on, let's go. Huh, is this some kind of school? Uh, yes, I think this is a Southern Indiana University at Evansville because I see a basketball practice facility. That's West. It is? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's West. West of so this town. is a high school. I Carson think. Center. Eh, this seems. But look over here. Look on this side. Something in higher education. Yeah, this is. Oh, it's the University of Evansville. I figured this was a university, but I haven't been to this one before. Apparently, we are in Fraternity Row. They think of Goodwills and Salvation Armies, but St. Vincent's are pretty much spread across the country too. And sometimes you find some really great stuff at them. So we're gonna take a look at this one. And here we are, we're going in. Oh, after you. Okay, so this place is a medium-sized thrift store and they've got some sales today. We've got red tags at 99 cents other than boutique items and yellow tag items 30% off. Oh, and jewelry. Well, we'll see if they have any jewelry. Nice thing about St. Vincent de Paul is unlike Goodwill, they typically do put everything in the store. They don't have stores where there's no furniture or no jewelry. They pretty much have everything. So let's see what everything is. Well, here's some old furniture. I see an but afghan. We don't have a lot of call for this style yet. You see an afghan? Yeah. Ooh, let's go. Well, this. Okay, let's see. Oh, that one actually looks like it's old too. Interesting with the multicolored thread, that's actually... Oh, it's kind of like a sandwich, see? Oh, interesting. It's like a burrito. Oh, like you sort of put yourself in it. Hmm, well that's Maybe. a little different. Let's see what the prices are on these. It'll probably be like five bucks. Yep, yep $4.99 and then the uh, multicolored one behind it. Okay, well that's a possibility. They are still selling it seems. Well, there's this too. These aren't very big though. No, these are on the small side and I find that people seem to want bigger ones, although some people just want sofa size. Well, there's a, another one here. This one's- Oh no, cool. I like the pattern on that one. Oh yeah, triangles and it's a hot red color. That is the best one I've seen. What do you think? Yep. Is it acrylic or is it? Well, of course. I mean, I know they generally are. Yeah, it's big. Yeah, that looks more like a winner. Yep. And I've got shows coming up outdoors where I can actually hang. It's long, like but this. it's narrow. Well, that's more like a sofa One size. One side is stripes. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I it's think somebody different. could. Yeah, it's different. Somebody it's kind could of even hang it. Southwest sort of Native American ish. Yeah, that's ish. got something going for it, ish. <laughs> so, well, we found something already, so that's a step ahead of a lot of thrift stores these days. Anything in here I ever? I don't that see you... anything older in linens here. In the oh, right. Here. There's, There's not, there isn't much. The hard goods, there are not a lot in stock, it seems. Most of this stuff does seem like it's more contemporary. A little yeah. bit of Christmas. I did find those elves here. Oh yes, what the do you Hong call elves, yeah. yes. Okay, now these are possibly universal statuary mm. from the 60s or 70s, and they're supposed to sort of remind you of sailing Seems across and new. discovering the new world or something. It's pretty but, untouched. Yeah, it's funny though. I feel like I've seen these, but I don't see any marks or anything. Yeah, boy, we see those everywhere. That's also well, as of common course. as the penguin. Ooh, and this. Oh yeah, we see that a lot too. I think Floris gave those out. Yeah. A couple of candle sconces, but I'm pretty heavily stocked in those. Nope. Now this is clear, and it's early American press cut, which was done in the 1960s through the 80s. It's a very commonly known pattern, but I'm curious because, oh, I wish oh, I had to put can't. tape all over it. Uh, I can show you the butter dish lid here, but it's the breakfast set. And so if there's enough pieces in it, because it's in the original box, I think it'd be worth getting. The butter dish is something that sells for a little more than they have on the entire box full. So I think we might just take this oddly enough. Let's see what else we have, if we can tell. So we've got the juice tumblers, which are pretty common. It says 11 pieces. Yeah, I wonder if it has a list. And there's two pieces here that 
appear to be missing. That was probably the salt and pepper shaker originally. Here's our list of what should be in there. Juice glasses, a pitcher, a butter and lid, a sugar and lid, a creamer, a syrup dispenser, and the salt and pepper shaker. Well, the salt and pepper are gone, but if the syrup is in there, the syrup and the butter would still make this worthwhile, so we'll check. Okay. Or we'll try to find a salt and pepper shaker and make the set complete again, because those aren't that hard to find, and I have a feeling the complete set will sell for okay. a premium over the individual pieces. Ooh. Poor Zeno, I tried to get him to film, and he said, now nah, you go ahead and film, and now he has to schlep. <laughs> Napkin holder here. $2.99. This is not a fast enough selling pattern to pay a lot for. Probably could make money on that, but I think we're already getting this big breakfast set and, you know, I want to try to stick to things I think are going to sell fairly quickly. Just because I have a lot of merchandise coming my way in the next uh, few weeks. You were wondering what it is. Yes. Oh, it was somebody's home project. Okay. They actually did a nice job on the face, but... Um, and, you know, I don't necessarily, one of our viewers was saying, why do people belittle homemade things so often? I have to say, if I think they're well done and saleable, homemade can be perfectly fine. Oh, lots of 1980s era figurines, including Precious Moments, the bride and groom. I don't know if this is one of the very early ones. Yeah, this one is Jonathan and David, 1978, licensed by UNESCO, but this one is a little bit later production. The very first group, I think it's about the first 20, are considered the most desirable, other than the large figures. Ooh, boy. Yeah, but it's that, it's, it's Homeco. Yeah, that doesn't necessarily make it a good thing to buy. No, I know, but it's, <laughs> it's 1991? 91, okay. Yeah, with that I didn't know they still pink. made that then. Yeah, oh yeah, they were still doing stuff well into that time. There are two just of little, them. See? Oh yes, two little bows, and you just need a blue ribbon geese to sit between the two of them and they would be complete. I'm sure we can find one. I like these little carved guys. I wish that they had a country of origin, um, but they're all missing what they were holding, so I guess that Ooh. scotches that deal. Didn't notice that right away. Yeah, the horn is broken on the poor little unicorn there. I know people are starting to collect them. Yeah. Dinnerware wise, it looks like there's not a lot that's terribly interesting here. And I don't see that salt and pepper set that we need. What would this have been? Oh, that's a hamburger press. You would actually put the meat in there. So you'd press perfect little patties that would all fry the same. In wood? In wood. I'm sure it was nasty to clean. That's why they're all worn off. Yeah. Well, here's something that Zeno picked up that we can show you just so you, if you see these marks, it says made in GDR. That means German Democratic Republic. So this is East Germany, which means it's going to be before 1990. I don't think that this particular piece is all that collectible, but definitely things made in the GDR, like especially the wooden figures are starting to really sell for good money. Let's see what is in the clear glass section. Again, we're really looking for that salt and pepper shaker to see if we can make that set whole. And especially at thrift stores, you want to do that if you see something missing out of a set because it is entirely possible that it's sitting somewhere else in the same store. Little Irish coffees, another Falls Graph piece, but I don't see anything really wildly great in this. There is some older Tupperware here though. They're not expensive on it, but ooh, that would be tough to get off of there. All right, let's see books. I don't see any older of the books in smaller sizes. I mean, there might be something in the children's books that's maybe more time than we want to spend today. I just was starting to scan here, actually, while you were walking up the aisle, and right. I made something like this in school when I was a kid, although I think we did collage on ours. I have to admit, I kind of like that. Whoa. And what have we knocked down and possibly bought? Oh good, it's just a shower head holder, so I'm not in trouble. That's a good thing. So big box two ninety nine for all those cassettes. And the cassette case. I've heard a few people are starting to do cassettes again. I just can't get excited about that. Unless it's something that again is only available on cassette. 
Can you get excited about this hair? <laughs> well, I think Reba was pretty excited about that hair for a while, but she uh, she outgrew it. She looked a lot better on her TV show, I think. Ooh. Actually, I, I think she it's, matured well. It's quite the hairdo. That, that whole look is very 1980s to me. Well, of course, but... Billy Vaughn and his orchestra. That's a neat cover, but... Oh yes, the old Fisher Price radios. Now these actually can be worth money. That's a record on player. What they are. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, it's a record player. <laughs> Sometimes words just come out of my mouth. Um, that one is like really old. Yeah, it's, it's because a, it has those whatever. It's loops got the or whatever graphic on there. with the lutes. Yeah, that's an older one, definitely. The music box record player. There are some versions of those that have Disney characters on them and things that sell for forty or fifty dollars, but that one is not one of them. You like the shade? Well, you like those shades. I mean, it's for the price. I'm sure it's worth it. It's more of a lamp. I like a shade that fits a lamp I have at a given moment, though. <laughs> I hate to kind of buy them ahead of time because they take up so much room. Where are we going All now? All right. Well, let's go up to the front and see if we missed anything. It looks to me like there's a lot of clothing. And while well, clothing is certainly. Look at this. You missed this. Through, you walked right past that. What we're going to do today. I did walk past that. You're right. It has a crack. Oh, they so often do. That's the still problem. Getting. I mean, how much is it? Mm, yeah, that's a bad crack. I would only buy it if I was going to use it at home. But I don't really need another garbage can. It wasn't in that. That's okay. It can be. It's display. Oh, it's probably here in this open space to the left. Yeah, that's all right. I'm going to display matter. it here. <laughs> we're going to redisplay their store for them. I figure as long as you get it back in a nice orderly place and don't leave it on the floor, you're doing right. They're starting to assemble Christmas here. And like I say, there's a lot of clothing in this store. A whole lot of clothing in this store. Now, this was a very popular style in the 1960s with this maple furniture. And the thing I never understood is how are you supposed to use the storage under there if it's a display area? Here's an entire box full. 50 bucks. 50 bucks and it's the great pattern and it looks like it's a combination of anchor hawking and possibly a few Westmoreland pieces. The tall tumblers are the thing that are worth something in there. Uh, the rest of the pieces, the snack plates are kind of hard to sell but there are plates in there and the dinner plates should sell so this is probably a pretty good buy. It's a whole lot of weight and a whole lot of stuff I don't want to deal with too so I probably will leave it but you know, looking for box lots like this, this is something uh, that St. Vincent does that I don't see at the other big thrift stores. Someone else spotted the same afghan we did and it's in her cart now, so you snooze, you lose. All right, let's see if we have anything interesting in the art department. Looks pretty much like things that you buy at stores to decorate cheaply with. I don't see anything that looks like it's going to be any valuable. Come over today. here. Keep filming. Come over here. Okay. A couple of big pieces. This here. is this is the and here is the miscellaneous boutique. So a lot of the vintage is in this spot. We've got some Avon Cape caught up here. Five dollars for the pair of candlesticks is not too bad. A bunch of Disney glasses in about the four dollar range. Look at this. These are this all is, McCoy. This and is what a are different, you different us? kind of. Oh yes, the McCoy. This one's the dog at the spinning wheel rather than the wishing well, and he's barking at the cat that you can't really see up on the top there. It's a pretty common piece. So are the other McCoy pieces that we see in here. And they have them priced up a little bit. So I don't think we're going to be able to get any of those. Yeah, but what about Superman? Interesting to see. Um, Superman is not really particularly old. And these are reboot My Little Pony pieces. This is not from the original era or else they'd be worth looking at. Or furniture and games. Zeno's checking out the purse. Are you going to dig through the purses? Smart. Uh, maybe for a second. I will dig through purses because that's something kind of easy to do. Coming in front of you. Okay. Fact or crap? I wonder if they play that on Fatbird Finds. I see this game in a lot of stores around here. All right. I don't see anything in this room that looks like we need it. 
What about here? Well, yeah, <laughs> after what people are pulling out of bins with plushes, it is definitely an area to know again. That would be the bin with the plush. See y'all down here. Oh my goodness, yes. Oh boy, yeah, that's a pretty deep bin too. And you know, there's probably a chance that there's something good in here. I don't know this, uh, I, I know folk manis and some of those. I don't know all of the plushes yet in terms of what's really valuable. Not really. Unless they're characters that I recognize or if they're older vintage like dream pets and things from the 60s. So we will see if Zeno recognizes anything from his childhood. <laughs> That's 92. Well, they were getting back a little. That's in pretty good shape. Yeah, it's cute enough, I guess. Let's see what the label on this one that he picked out is. Oh, here we go. MIC International, Portland, Oregon, made in China. Yeah, but it, but it has a good feel to it. Yeah, and I mean, made in China has been a thing for long enough that there are going to be collectible things and things of value that are made in China. Uh, that one I'd have to look up, though. It's tactically interesting. I mean, I would under, I would rec recognize things from the 80s, but I don't think a lot of this is... Ooh, someone's... Ooh. Oh, dear. Yes. <laughs> Somebody worked hard on that, though. No, nothing's really jumping out at me either, but this is a good time for me to say this, which is if you are enjoying this video, please do click that uh, like button. And if you would like to subscribe and click the button to be notified of future videos, then you'll always know when we are doing something fun. So this is a troll. Yeah, squash. but it's, I mean, it's not old, but. <laughs> I'm almost disturbed that you know that. Well, it had it right there. <laughs> Giant letters. Giant. You can tell that that's a troll. Yeah, so it has a very tiny little neck. You're very cute together. So this is the ah uh, moment what where about Zero here? finds his next vacuum cleaner. Right, yeah. I don't think so, but <laughs> what about this lamp? Uh, very basic. And I just got two that have a little more design than right. that. Great style, definitely 90s or Ooh. early 2000s, and you can see the problem <laughs> is that the styles are fun. All the handles are different, it tapers down, it's got that sort of a new version of mid-century look, but look how it's already chipping on the veneer. There's a foot missing. I mean, it's the quality that's the problem on these retro redos. It's not the style. Okay, All right, so... we'll look at the first spin very quickly to see if there's anything that might be really vintage or a good brand name. It's quite a pile of stuff. That's very lightweight and kind of a knockoff. I think we're looking at a lot of stuff that's been looked through already. Decanters, this leather wrapped one is Spanish from about 1970, but it's in terrible condition now. What about the light back there? The light bar, well, it's definitely that sort of plain thing you see from the 70s and 80s, but it's not very exciting. Right. I'm going to take a look at jewelry really quickly here. This is all newer, mainly. As is the decor on this wall. Mm -hmm. They do have a few other old pieces in the showcase here. This false wrap with the flowers for $9.99 and some McCoy floral line. Zeno pulled out the treasure craft cookie jar and it's the big huge one that's a coffee pot. I always thought that was a strange idea but they said well you know we figured cookies and coffee went together. However that big shipping tape is going to take all of that finish off even more than where the chips are so unfortunately that's going to be a no mm, no it's not mm, it will eventually you'll get to a point i've, I've had that experience unfortunately so eyeglasses there's money to be made in eyeglasses if you take time with these even newer ones if you get a few good brands you can really get somewhere with them 
Knowles. Edwin Knowles, yeah, yeah. That was how they sort of survived the last decade was they were making tons of these collector plates and people were buying them like crazy by subscription. And then, well, everyone had as many as they could take and now they are worth almost nothing. This one's a Norman Rockwell. The issue price was probably double the $9.99 that they're asking. And now it's worth about $3. Very 80s are the lilies on black and other flowers like this. Toyo Japan. It's in great shape, $6.99. I just don't think there's a big market for it yet. All right, so we're putting the stuff in the car and this was a decent first stop. They even signed us up for a rewards program and gave us a little card if we yes. shop here again. Yeah, there it is. Only good at this store. Too bad it's not good at all, the St. Vincent's. But we got the funky afghan with the interesting diamond pattern that we had not seen before. We got Mr. Police Dog, Nickelodeon. He's a bank, someone will think he's cute regardless. We got this because we're gonna fix another phone and have a backup camera out of it. And our total spend was 1815, which included the Anchor Hawking breakfast set. And here it is. Yeah, you can show it now. Yes, we opened it up to make sure it was only the salt and pepper that we're missing. So we're going to look for a salt and pepper to replace it. But I think this set probably, I'm going to look it up. I think it probably sells around $25. So I think there's some room in there. So what did I think about St. Vincent? Mm -hmm. mm, I thought it was actually decent. It was a valley. Yeah, it was fine. I mean, there were some things to buy at least. And you know, St. Vincent, I've, I've had pretty good luck there in general. I usually don't find a whole lot, but I usually find a few things because they don't pick it all over. They don't have an online site where they're competing with us resellers. So it makes it a nice place to go. You're likely to find something in a St. Vincent. Well, and it's more a true charity shop. Well, as yes. To Goodwill. Well, right, because it's a religious based organization. I think it's a Catholic charities, is what it is. If you like thrifting videos like these, well, check out my social media and links in the description. I'm George the Antique Nomad. Click the thumbs up to like this video and let us know you're out there with a comment. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thanks for joining me again in the fun and fascinating antique community here where online meets the real world please click the subscribe button below, click the bell to be notified when new videos upload, leave a comment below, and hit thumbs up to like this video. Links to our online social media and our items for sale are in the description. This is George at The Antique Nomad. Bye for now!